If you put a chicken in the oven, it goes from pink to brown, right? You've seen this, it cooks. This process of cooking is called glycation. It's the process of browning or of cooking. Same thing when you toast a piece of toast, for example. The interesting thing is a human being from the moment we're born, we're slowly cooking in that same way on the inside. We're slowly glycating, we're slowly browning. And then when we're fully glycated, when we're fully cooked, we die. That's why when you look at the cartilage of babies, it's white. And if you look at the cartilage of somebody who's 90 years old, it's brown. They've cooked on the inside. And every glucose spike increases this process of glycation. So much so that glucose and glycation, they kind of sound like a similar word, glucose glycation. It's because it's glucose doing the glycating. So every glucose spike increases glycation, increases cooking, and accelerates aging. And this shows on your skin, you get wrinkles faster if you glycate more, and also on the inside, your organs slowly get damaged. So glucose spikes, mitochondria get tired, you age faster. In response to this, your body knows, Stephen, that a big glucose spike is not good for you. Your body knows that it has to do something to try to get that glucose level down. So what it does it calls up your pancreas and it's like, yo, pancreas, we got a glucose spike going on. We need to get this glucose down. In response, your pancreas sends a hormone called insulin out in your body. You've heard of insulin before, right? Mm -hmm. And insulin's job, and we love her, her job is to grab all these excess glucose molecules and to store them away so they don't damage your body anymore. And insulin stores glucose away into your liver into your muscles. And then when those are full, insulin stores glucose away into your fat cells. And that's one of the ways that you gain fat on your body. It's in response to the spikes and your body trying to protect you from the spikes. The problem is insulin itself has consequences and is the driver of type 2 diabetes and insulin resistance. So to answer your question, yes, when you see a big spike on your glucose monitor, there's some of that going on. And the more spikes you have, the harder it is going to be for your body to manage your spikes. So it kind of becomes a vicious cycle. If you keep eating the same way, your spikes will get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger over time with more and more damage.